Hey homo sapiens and marbites, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to any new watchers and subscribers. I am Rogue Marby Scott and today I am going to do something very, um, I want to go very arty today. Um, I haven't done makeup for like a whole month. I mean, I've posted up videos, but not a lot. And yes, it's the new year, so happy new year. And I'm so late with that, I know. Um, so, without further ado, let's go on to the tutorial. Are my teeth looking white? Good. Coming to you from the future. No, this is not going to be as a artistic as I thought it was gonna be. So I'm gonna start with my brows and I'm just gonna get rid of anything that's on there like moisturizer and uh well not moisturizer but oil. I just want them to be very cute today. I'm not too sure what I want to do with my brows because this is going to be in my head and down on paper a very artistic look but not too hard to accomplish then with my precision pencil from NYX and <laughs> um yeah there's lots of lash glue on that So sketching out my brows and I'm just making a nice thick shape because I wanted thicker brows today and then I'm going to conceal the bottom of the brow and then I'm going to conceal the top so as you can see I'm just blending that into my lid just so that I've got some coverage there for when I go to place some shadows later on and now as you can see I am doing the top because I want the brow to look sharp and thick. I already said that didn't I? Anyway, going to move on really swiftly. I'm going to do my concealer now. As you can see, I've already got my foundation on my base and I'm just going to place concealer in the tear duct area and the outer corner area. And then I am going to blend those two together because I don't want too much coverage underneath my eyes for now because I am going to put more on later. So I've got some coverage there <clears throat> and I want more. So going in a crescent light motion underneath my eyes, I'm just placing the concealer there and then I'm blending that out using my beauty sponge. And then I'm going to switch over my beauty sponge to the butt bit and blend um, the surrounding areas just so that it looks seamless because I don't want that harsh line of concealer. Now I'm just going to conceal a lot of the other bits or should I say highlight a lot of the other parts of my face, jawline, chin, uh, felcrum, is that your felcrum? I can't remember. Bridge of the nose and forehead. Blend that out using the butt because it's already got some foundation on in it and it will blend out seamless and then we will move on very swiftly to um, Am I gonna bake? I am baking in this video, I just don't know if it's gonna be next. So uh, let's just wait in five, four, three, two, one. Yes, I'm baking. <laughs> so I'm using my powder that I um, got from Beauty Bakery. Um, I can't remember the shade, but remember just buy your shade because you don't know what shade I am typically because this is on camera with very heavy lighting. Anyway, so just baking in a swoopy motion, just kind of to give like a little uplift to the eyes as well. And then I'm just going to bake everywhere else before I wipe it off. Now I do leave this on for just kind of like maybe a minute or two. I'm not leaving it on for too much because I don't want my face to dry out too much. Moving on. Now I'm going to be using a blusher, which is from Jolie Beauty. And I wasn't 
too sure how um how deep I wanted to go with this so I just put on a light wash first and then I decided you know let me build it up just a little bit more around my face and as you can see I'm working from my cheeks going all the way up into my head because I am trying to do this up well in my head I was trying to do an artistic look but then I went somewhere else moving on to eyes now I'm using the Wicked um, Artistry palette and um, I think this is the shade Chloe. No longer available, sorry guys. But yeah, I received this in PR a few months ago. And I'm just going to put that colour into the tear duct area or the inner corner area. And then I'm going to use a fluffy brush just to blend out those edges a tiny bit into the centre of my eyelid because I don't want that colour to move too far in or out. Then I'm going in, I think this is the colour Donatello, I'm not too sure. Um, I'm placing that on the outer corners and then with the fluffy brush, I am going to blend that out just so that it looks like a murky, a, a, a murky, I don't know, smudge of purple all over my eyes. Yes, and we are going to put some um, gold on in a minute, which actually I think that's the Donatello. Uh, it doesn't really matter because you can't get a palette anymore so I'm I, me naming the shades in this palette <laughs> it, it, it's it's invalid anyway using my finger to put that nice shimmery gold on I'm just going to place that on the middles and then I'm going to bring it up into my um, brow area or just beyond my crease of my lid Now I am using a Jodie Beauty highlighter just to highlight underneath my brows because I wanted them to, well I wanted my brows to be kind of like a focus as well as what I'm going to do after. See? Now I'm going in with that same highlighter to the highlight on my cheeks and once I've placed that where I need it, I am going to use my beauty sponge and I am going to blend that out just a tiny bit around the edges I'm not going to blend it out too much where it's perfectly in my skin I just want it to be a little subtle around the edges as you can see what I'm doing there now I'm going to contour my nose um, what am I using I am using black opal cream contour so I'm just using a really thin uh, tapered angled brush to do so and as you can see I've gone on the sides and on to the top of my bridge however my nose is quite thin anyway but I feel like when you put makeup on sometimes you kind of lose your nose so yeah contouring isn't always to contour your face it's also just to bring back your natural shape as you can see I'm going in with that same highlighter I've already used to do my nose highlight like I love to do like everybody loves to do actually and then we are going to move on So using the Norvina electric liners, I am going to line one of my eyes as if I'm doing like a wing eyeliner and then I'm going to create branches or vines coming out of that same liner. <clears throat> and to tell you the truth, the, the picture that I sketched out was so intricate and I got so uninfused on the day that I didn't really do what I really wanted to do but I'm happy with the look so far and I did around my jawline because I wanted one side to focus on uh, just the natural contours of my top half and then another side to concentrate on the contours of my lower half of the other side of the face as you can see I'm going in with some more highlighter um, and now I'm doing my lips with a lip gloss from Makeup Revolution and that's it guys
So guys, that's how I got the look, and I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did, uh, but yeah, it's not as... Well, it's not what I anticipated to do, even from my sketches. I, yeah, I got a little bit unenthusiastic about it all, and anyway, hope you enjoy. <laughs> Ciao for now, homo sapiens, and I'll see you soon. Bye.